They're whiz kids, and the next couple of weeks, they're teaching us something. They don't just have questions, <laughs> they've got full demonstrations for us. Yeah, they've done some real work, haven't they, Scott? They certainly have. These are first and second graders at Valley View Elementary that have put weather projects together, and they're learning about the scientific experiments, getting a theory, and then testing that theory, getting your sources, and citing them. This is first and second grade that we're talking about. Our topic tonight has to do with tornadoes. Here's the, here's the question and the project. My name is Kaylee, and I'm from Valley View Elementary School, and this is my weather project. My question was, how do tornadoes pick things up? And I learned that a tornado forms when a mesocyclone, a powerful rotating updraft, found in some thunderstorms, titans, and incensifies. As a result, the tornado has a very powerful updraft that can lift objects off the ground. <laughs> very, very nice. Roland Michelle, did you get that? A meso what now? A meso something. <laughs> meso. <laughs> a mesocyclone. I there you go. But it was a mesocyclone. Excellent work, Haley. I mean, that was quite the definition right there. And she had a, an incredibly neat and thorough report, as you can see on the poster board there. So, way to go, uh, Kaylee from Valley View Elementary. Here was a mesocyclone that formed over. Bronco State. It was actually, we're looking over Bronco State. It was more heading up towards the foothills, not far from uh, east of Eagle there. Uh, and it headed up to the north, and here's a tornado trying to form. It didn't quite make it to the ground, but that's certainly what can happen. This one that uh, did touch down, we believe, briefly around a Kimberley in the south central Idaho. And so, indeed, tornadoes do touch down, and we're hitting that time of year, that season. And if the peak is generally May in Tornado Alley, so here we are in April, and we're starting to see an increase in tornadoes occur. And I got to tell you, the way the stormies, stormy weather's been occurring during the spring, you send a storm into the center part of the nation, and it tends to spawn tornadoes, and that may end up being the case. And the destruction about picking up, what's this, the debris that they're picking up? EF0, that's uh, winds at about 100 miles an hour or slightly less, all the way up to the EF4 and EF5 is less than 2%. Actually, less than 1% of tornadoes are EF4s and EF5s. And so uh, we'll watch and keep a close eye on that. But again, great job, Kaylee, by explain, uh, explaining tornadoes and how they form. We'll have another Weather Whiz Kid product, uh, project coming up tomorrow. And again, as we head towards uh, into next week. We're going to do it again. So, Roll, Michelle, uh, this is uh, two weeks long. This is a two-week course you've got. <laughs> well, I'm just Student glad we're, yeah, we're raising up the next Scott Dorval. Well, they, they will be taking my job, I think. <laughs> they're, they're very well versed. Yes, <laughs> in a couple of years, I think. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Scott. Scott. Okay. Well, the perks of 